Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. This video is going to be Instagram Fix My Makeup. I've seen a couple of influencers do this on YouTube and I thought it was a really cool concept. So I decided to take to my Instagram and ask you guys, my followers there, what you guys wanted me to use. So I do have the screenshot of every single item that I had and I did miss a couple like eyeliner, um, what else was there that I forgot? I know eyeliner specifically and lashes. Eyeliner and lashes and mascara I forgot to um, add in but I was like that could be something that I pick. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video then please keep on watching. So y'all know your girl's lips are always crusty so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip gloss um, but if you have not already gone ahead and subscribed please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also you can turn on your post notifications so that way you'll get my notifications whenever I post or go live or anything like that but sometimes um, YouTube doesn't really send out the notifications so you'll either see it like a few days late or um, you know a week late or something like that or you'll have to find my channel manually to see if I have any new videos but if you guys are a subscriber you already know that I usually post anywhere between three to five videos a week so you know to check in either Monday Wednesday Fridays or every single day I'll have a video so that's just a little tidbit but let's get into the video for real <laughs> I feel like my voice is really groggy mainly because I just woke up but I feel like I need to like <clears throat> get some bass in my voice <laughs> but for brows I asked you guys um, which brow products you guys wanted me to use the Benefit Cabrow or the Colourpop uh, brow color and you guys chose the um, Colourpop brow color this is in the shade black and brown this is one of my favorite brow pomades I haven't gotten a chance to use it since I bought it uh, because I had to re-up on it but it is one of my favorite 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 pomades it is pretty darn amazing and the color is really really nice so I'm going to fill in my brows and I need to go get my brows done but Jack is like now so not yet but the brush that I'm using is a uh, dose of colors eyebrow brush and as you guys can see like that is pigmented and like the perfect color for someone that has dark brown to black hair especially if you're like a Latina or you're white and you have like black hair you want to go in with something like this like black and brown because you don't want to use a uh, black because it'll be way too harsh especially on a fair skin tone even on black women you don't want to use black like that is just a no-no for brows um but that's your you know your skilo go ahead but um, I usually use like a dark brown or something like this that's black and brown uh, and then you don't want to use like a lighter brown because it'll look way too light so you want to match your brows to your roots is what I always tell people especially if you're a lot fairer in skin tone you definitely want to do that okay you guys so I went ahead and did my other brow off camera and just cleaned it all up because that wasn't something that I added either but for eyes you guys wanted me to use the Jaclyn Hill palette as opposed to the ABH prism palette I didn't really know what palettes you guys owned so I was trying to think of something that I know like a lot of people either owned or bought um, so that's why I picked out the Jaclyn Hill palette uh, I don't really own like a lot of Morphe palettes but I probably should have put like the Morphe 3502 because I love that palette but I have a lot of videos with <laughs> with the Morphe 3502 and actually a lot of videos with the Jaclyn Hill palette also so um, I just didn't really know which one to go with so I was just like I don't know but I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one but I am going to prime my lids and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I know a lot of girls don't like to set down their concealer and to each its own honestly makeup is very um, personal and very um, I don't want to say, uh, yeah, pretty much personal, like, you know, you like what you like, you don't like what you don't like, so you do accordingly, um, but I found from when I didn't set my concealer, like, the last year, the last, like, few years, I didn't set my concealer ever, and I found, like, my concealer just, or my eyeshadow's going a lot easier if I set it down, and I remember watching some vloggers and being like, it doesn't really make a difference, but it honestly does, especially 
you know, to me. So I am going to set that down also with the NYX translucent setting powder. It's an HD setting powder. It's just like a translucent powder. And just set that down with the Sigma E50 large fluff brush. And then as I mentioned, Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take Roxanne, I believe, is the orangey shade in this palette. I love, love, love this shade. I use it all the time. And I'm taking that on a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm going to work this into the crease. This is gonna be my transition shade. Oh, camera, come on. Stop playing me, please. I really like using this E40 blending brush because it's really large and fluffy and it diffuses this product really, really well. So I'm going from the outer corner to the inner corner and just blending in like windshield wiper motions. If you want in depth, you know, how to apply eyeshadow and everything like that, I have a beginner's playlist series that you guys can watch if you haven't already watched, which I'm sure my majority of you guys have already watched, but you are, if you are a new subscriber, I have that playlist that I can list at the end of this video. There you go, camera. My camera was like playing me for like two minutes there. I don't appreciate it. So I really diffused that, really blew that color out. Now I am going to go in with this brown shade. I think it's like chocolate or something like that. Or Fifth Ave or something like that. I don't know. I don't know where my color card is. Honestly, it's probably back there with all my other palettes, but I'm going to put this into the outer corner and start blending this in. Kind of going in that same shape motion fashion as I was going in with Roxanne. The only reason I know Roxanne is because I use it all the time, especially when I'm pulling out this palette. Oh my god, camera! I'm about to fire you. Come on. The one time I want to film on a Sunday, my camera wants to play me. It's like, why? Okay, so now I'm going to take Chip, I think it is. It's this dark brown down here. Just to add a little bit of definition in this outer corner. Just to really darken it up. It's already kind of dark, but I don't want to darken it even more. And now I'm gonna take this bronzy shade right here. I don't know the name of this shade either. You know, I really don't know what my color card is. Let me go look. Okay, so the color is called Meeks, which is the bronzy shade. And I'm just gonna apply this on the lid. I'm not gonna do like a half cut crease or anything like that. I'm just gonna do like a regular kind of like smoky eye where I'm not really like cutting out the crease or anything. I'm just keeping it on like my natural lid shape or lid space, I should say and then blending that out into the brown. And then I'm gonna wet my brush with a little bit of um, like this refreshing spray. Get it nice and damp. Go in again and pull my eye taut. Oh my God, come on camera. Love me! And this is just gonna make it a little bit more metallic and foiled. So that is it for this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then we're gonna move on to the face. Okay, so for face primer, I asked you guys, would you rather me use the Benefit Professional or the Cover Effects Blur Primer? And you guys wanted to see the Cover Effects Blurring Primer, which I do really love. Um, so I'm just going to use this. Mainly in the cheek areas is where I prime because I don't really have too many problematic areas. And I'm really oily in the nose area, but I also have really, really big pores. So most of the time I'm double priming, not really just using one singular primer because you don't have to. You can use as many primers as your skin needs. Like my forehead is really dry. The outer perimeter of my face is really dry, but my nose is really oily and my cheeks have really large pores. So like I could technically use like three different primers and like, you know, meet my skin needs, but I don't. I just use usually one or two, two at most, but 
if my forehead is really really dry I'll use like a um, like a serum or something like that to apply to my forehead so for foundation I asked you guys if you wanted me to use the ColourPop no filter foundation or the NYX total control drop foundation and you guys wanted to see the ColourPop foundation which I did pick up another shade I picked up um, dark 185 and dark 175 was the one that I did the review on so I actually do want to try out dark 185 to see how this looks looks good I mean I feel like I could wear either shade and maybe even mixing the two would be would be would work but for this video I'm gonna use dark 185 and I love this stuff a lot of you guys did ask how this wore throughout the day and I did get oily in my nose area um I haven't well, I think I found one foundation that didn't make me oily. have I found one foundation I feel like <laughs> every single foundation that I try out no matter what gets like I'm really oily the only one that I wasn't like overly oily was the cover effects um power play foundation that one I didn't get really oily with but the shade isn't bad and it's not overly warm um I figured that it would be overly warm but it's actually not it's actually not this is a good shade if you guys are if you guys are around my shade 175 would work but 185 looks a lot better it's just a lot more um It's a lot, it's not a lot darker, but it's darker. Sorry, I have to take off my head scarf because my foundation. I don't like getting foundation on my hair though. Ah. This shade is darker and it looks a lot better. So for concealer, I asked you all if you wanted me to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer or the Makeup Revolution, and that one was actually pretty darn close. That one was 57% ColourPop and 43% um, Makeup Revolution, but ColourPop eventually won. So I am using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 42. This is more of a highlighting shade. So I'm using this one, but I do really like this concealer. I was, like when I did that review, I was thoroughly impressed, impressed. <laughs> I was thoroughly impressed by um, the coverage and the way that it goes on and everything. And the price, I mean, you get your bang for your buck with ColourPop. Like I really, really, really like ColourPop. And I remember when they first came out and I bought like a whole bunch of their Super Shock um, found, or, Super shop, super, super, sharper, super shop eyeshadows. I bought a whole bunch of those and I was like obsessed with them. Um, but, and then when they came out with concealer, I was like, nah, I'll skip it. I don't know what I was thinking because I missed out. I missed out because I was so into like my Tarte Shape Tape and everything else that I was like, I don't really need anything else. This reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay. Um, naked skin concealer though in the sense of um, like the wand applicator and how it feels lightweight but it goes on really full coverage it reminds me a lot of that concealer and that's one of my favorite all-time favorite concealers really 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 nice but this one you get for way cheaper and you get that same kind of consistency and feel why do I have a bump on the tip of my nose like what 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 but look at this, this is like a flawless base, you guys. Like a flawless base. It's popping. For setting powder, I asked you guys if you wanted me to use my favorite setting powder, which is my KKW um, baking powder, or the ColourPop setting powder, and this one was a landslide. 75% of you guys wanted to see the ColourPop um, no filter setting powder in the shade Banana. I, I will tell you guys, I was thoroughly, um, thoroughly, um, sad i guess you could say it's not really the word that i'm looking for but i expected you guys to go with what y'all knew i wanted to use but y'all definitely didn't so <laughs> shout out to y'all for making me use something different um but i do like this powder i just like my kkw powder a lot better it brightens a lot better to me personally 
So that is why I wanted to use that one. But y'all are sticking with the ColourPop family. If I would have picked everything ColourPop, like if I would have put like my Shayla palette, I'm sure y'all would have picked everything ColourPop because y'all love y'all some ColourPop, I see. So now I'm going to contour slash warm up my skin a little bit. I asked you all if you wanted me to use the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette or the AVH Bronzer. And you guys chose my favorite, which is the Black Radiance True Complexion um, Contour Palette. So I'm going to use that. And I use a Pretty Bar. This is their Pink Peach Bellini brush or brush set. But I use the large powder brush that comes out of the brush set just to um, contour because I really like how it more so bronzes up the skin as opposed to giving me like a defined contour. So I use this to snatch the forehead and I found out that like a lot of y'all are a part of the forehead gang. <laughs> we all got big foreheads out here so forehead gang where you at? Hashtag forehead gang y'all. Forehead gang not game. Forehead gang. Y'all are part of the gang gang gang. <laughs> And I'm using a Sigma E39 Buff and Blend I should have brushed to snatch the nose. Because the nose forever stays snatched. If your nose ain't snatched, we got a problem. And for blush, I asked you all if you wanted me to use the new Stilazzi blushes, which I really wanted to use, but you guys weren't going. So you guys said the Sasha Powdered Blush, which is in Barely Plum. It's one of my favorite blushes. Um, I'm using a Stilazzi Angled Blush Brush, though. It's an L312. But this is one of my favorite blushes, but I haven't used it in quite some time. I used to use it, like, all the time with every single look. It was, like, my go-to, but... Now I don't really use it too much, but it's really pretty. And for highlighter, I asked you all if you wanted you, me to use Makeup Geek or um, the new Maybelline Topaz one. And you guys picked the Maybelline Topaz one. Um, the only downfall with this one is it doesn't really show up on my skin tone. Like it's way too, um, I don't know. I'll just put it on and let you guys see. But I don't really like it too much for me. But it's very subtle like it like, like as you see it's very 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 subtle it's not my style so I'm gonna mix it with another Maybelline highlighter since it's in the family and I'm technically using this one <laughs> but I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my face And then I'm going to go in over the top of that one with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold, which just gives me a little bit more pop. It's more like popping, you know? I also like to apply my highlighter now, like on the apple, <laughs> on the apples of my cheek, so like smile a little bit so that way when I'm facing forward or like doing a front facing shot you can still see the highlighter why are my cheeks so big <laughs> so lastly I am going to apply more of that color pop powder just along the side of the nose I was like not gonna do it but I'm like no Milan, you need to do it or else you'll just keep staring at your nose like there's something wrong with it. This just further slimmed it down a little bit and gives it that snatched appearance. And I just pop a little bit of that powder under the eye because we're going to do under eye um, shadow. So I'm going to pop this uh, L'Oreal Silkissimi Eyeliner in True Teal into the waterline. I never do like pops of color anymore, so I figured I'd do like a pop of color for this look. And then I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the shade Jada, which is this one right here. It's the matte color. I don't know why I wanted to go in with the matte as opposed to the sparkle to start out. But I'm going to take Jada, which I've never used this shade, actually. I've never used this teal shade. And I'm using a Makeup Geek Outer V brush.
Have I done this look before? I feel like I've done this look before. I'm gonna have to go back to my Jaclyn Hill palette series and look and I think, I think I actually, now that I'm putting the blue down here, I'm like, Lon, I think you've done that before, ma'am. So I was looking at this palette and I'm like, okay, what colors haven't you done a video with? And I've done a video with all the bronzy color, or you know what, I haven't done one with the pinks and I should have did something with the pink. But I did colors with the, or I did looks with all of the warm shades. I did it with the blue and the pink, or blue and the purple. All of that and I'm crazy <laughs> and then I'm going to apply some of beam which is this bright color in the inner corner it's like almost white on my skin tone all right you guys so for setting spray I asked you all if you wanted me to use a Mario Badescu setting spray or the NYX dewy finish setting spray and this one was also pretty close 59% Mario Badescu and 41% um, NYX dewy finish spray which I love my NYX dewy finish spray however I haven't really I haven't really gotten a chance to try out this new um, facial spray from Mario Badescu it's the uh, aloe a chamomile and a lavender chamomile I think that's how it's pronounced so I haven't gotten a chance to try this one so give it to me and for lips you guys wanted to see the dose of colors as opposed to ABH so I'm gonna use my MAC lip liner and cork just to lightly line my lips And then the shade that I'm gonna go in with is also called Cork, but it's from Dose of Colors. And this is one of their liquid lipsticks. All right, you guys, so that wraps up my video. That wraps up you guys, my Instagram followers, picking my makeup. I have to say that I was thoroughly surprised. Like, I expected you guys to be like, I know this is what Lon loves and I know this is what Lon likes to use so let me go ahead and pick that one but you guys like honestly you picked like the opposite of what I would have chosen I mean besides like the brows I probably would have picked the color pop because I love that brow pomade um, the eyeshadow palette I would pick the prism palette the primer I probably would have picked the benefit professional because it's like I'm gonna go to staple Foundation, I probably would have picked the ColourPop one because I've, I've been really enjoying that foundation. Concealer, I would have picked the ColourPop one. The setting powder, I would have picked the KKW one. The contour, I would have picked the Black Radiance, which you guys chose. The blush, I would have picked the Stilazzi palette. And the highlighter, I would have picked the Makeup Geek one. Setting spray, I would have picked the uh, NYX Dewy Finish. And the liquid lipstick, I would have picked the ABH one. So you guys like pick the opposite of what I would have chosen for everything except like two yeah like two yeah like the foundation concealer <laughs> the foundation and the concealer is the only thing that I would have agreed with you guys on but thank you all so much for um, engaging and being a part of this little little video I thought it was so fun and so interesting to do um, let me know if you want to see something like this again but I think I'm gonna get back to like makeup tutorials um, so like with backdrops and stuff like that I think I'm not sure let me know what y'all want to see this week because I have like a lot of videos in my head but I don't know like what I want to like do you know what I mean so let me know your thoughts down below videos that you want to see I know someone wants to see how I pair like my eyeshadow with my lip color and like you know how I work with that so I can do a video like that but y'all let me know your thoughts down below I love you all so much thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video Mwah. bye guys